Hey guys, in today's video, we are going to take a look at the Zen UI ported from the Asus Zenfone 5 for a Redmi Note 5 Pro and running in Android 9 with the latest December patch. So, without wasting more time, let's start. So, guys, Zen UI has been ported to a Redmi Note 5 Pro and it's from the Asus Zenfone 5 X00 QD. And you can see this is a default launcher, and you can see you get native blur here. Also, over the recent you get native blur, so you can see the launcher is pretty cool and pretty simple for its nature. Then let's move into its settings. So you can see long pressing you get this manage home section with wallpapers, widgets, and edit home and preferences. Then oops, maybe edit home screen. Okay, let's go into preferences first, and you can see we get this home screen preference. I can see layout, app icon, badges, continuous home screen, auto smart group. A lot of options are available here, such as apps, lock home screen, icon frames. Then we get into app lock. Now we have app lock with fingerprint unlock as well as face unlock as well as pattern and pin. Like pattern pin is important. Then we have this feedback section where can also sorry we have this hide app section so you can hide your apps from your drawer. So that is an awesome thing and let's go uh, you can see very light here very normal there is no like those colors like black or white it's just simple transparent and that native blur like you can see the blur effect feels really good on this There's one bug that i wanted to tell you that this padding and also this notch area which is like it is not detecting as a notch it is detecting as a notch but for a redmi note 5 pro but it that notch area is not working so if you can see like if i put on youtube okay i cannot turn on any video so i have to go to my channel and if i turn on any video so let's play a video from my channel itself and you can see this area is not optimized you can like zoom it but you can see if i okay you can see this like this area the youtube and app scaling it's not proper so yeah that's what i was trying to explain now i'm not getting those exact words in mind but i haven't written any, written any script or something so that i could have remember it but yeah that is that the notch area same like the one plus six port it is but will be it will be fixed in the next version and you can see we have Google apps, some of the apps are like stock apps or Google apps. Then we have this phone app and this area is looking like TouchWiz. I don't know why, but yeah, it looks exactly like TouchWiz. We also have themes and you can see the theme app, like it's copied from somewhere. I don't know. Then we have gallery, mobile manager, some shit and stuff. I don't know why these OEMs place some shit apps. Also the camera gradient like resembles to something. And yes, coming with camera, you can see the UI. Uh, UI is really ugly, like from my first thoughts, but yeah, it has a lot of modes you can see. So you can see from auto to pro and pro to auto. So yeah, and the left side, we get this mode you can see super stable, like super resolution, GIF animation and time lapse. And then here we get some filters. Then into this uh, like front camera, you can see it works well. And you get the selfie panorama and also the GIF animator here. So camera is pretty good and it works really well. And yeah, these are the quick settings toggles. You can see this is the UI, quick settings UI. Also, let's take a look at the settings UI. And uh, you can see you can resemble it with Asus. So it's like it's a pure board, it's not any theme thing. So then we get here about phone. Here we move into Android 9 and all that shit stuff that I want, want to talk about like it has one December patch now these OEMs like merge some different tags rather than we do on custom ROM so it's different and we have this selfie master some app you can, and it's just maybe a third party camera you can see camera or some editing stuff I'm not into beauty mode or something so I'm not gonna keep explaining that they have this Asus file manager and screen improving like it's, uh, like i've used in oreo but now this one is really great i guess maybe it's a uh, like simpler ui you can see messenger like it had facebook and instagram too i deleted that but it also has messenger which i didn't even take a look at so i'm mean, sorry i don't know why these apps are giving like given importance by the oems to be placed in the devices like this is a port so maybe on Lenovo C5 it's already there so a lot of money and a lot of your data is going to these apps 
you can see we have this asset stuff the contact sound recorder the web storage and calculator and also this weather and weather works really awesome now taking a deep breath here because like last clip i explained a lot but here you can see the battery is a bit drainy like it drained a lot last day like seven percent in nine hours but it didn't like my wire it doesn't even drain like that it was like only one two percent in those nine hours if it was a really different rom or it was an usb p rom i don't know why like maybe it's, this is a ported rom and because of that maybe it drained but yeah it's okay like i didn't even charge it fully to test the full like you let's take a look at some additional features we get here like every rom i used to tell you guys into sound oops sound you can see okay so it has that uh, sync volumes of the ringtone and notification tone so yeah that's what they have to learn then we have the outdoor mode also we have here the outdoor mode oops sorry here you can see this is the outdoor mode on and off then we have al ringtone like audio oh, sorry ai ringtone artificial intelligence default alarm clock notification and all the shit like your normal shit then we come across these option battery and you can see all the android pie stuff here also one or seven minutes just like i don't know why then we have wallpapers so i don't know why there is a different tab for that display again wallpapers like somewhere i heard it. but yeah no it's like it's okay font size font style also you can select okay just like two fonts are there so it's okay app scaling you have to turn on a, like full screen mode for everything to fix that notch problem for now led indicator maybe it works uh, i didn't give any importance to that screen color yeah you can just adjust it advance now in advance you can see uh, some features from that twin app game genes and emoji beauty life safeguard now some of the features work and some don't so like just don't be like fixing like fix box or something like that don't come in that instant camera 100 mode so we can just like tap the home key to activate okay okay no it's not like that double tap but here i have just like using swipe gesture so oops what is this so it won't be getting done 100 mode then we have pocket mode glove mode yeah what what like these are some old shit stuff and like people don't even use that clock mode and all you can see zen ui updates but ours is the redmi note 5 pro so it will give some error and shit and you can see it doesn't even lag that much it's smooth if you're into some using some new kind of rom and ui like you can see the zen ui then go for it like it is suitable as a daily driver but with some bugs which are like not noticeable also volte works for my device at least you can see real d works and mine is the geo sim card so if you have airtel just check if it's working or any other card check if it's working or not and let me know in the comment section below and also on the xda thread or telegram wherever you can and that's it for the video now yeah i know importance of the installation video but it's just a flashing thing so let's for the installation just power off your phone like it's actually not the first step like actually powering off is not the first step so booting into recovery is the first so powering off and you can see that power menu works like in some roms uh, power menu gets stuck like in the oneplus 5t port and all the pi port so yeah this port is working now boot into TWRP recovery press the volume up and the power button at the same time this way is becoming funny actually like i'm speaking some nonsense stuff okay so it's booting into TWRP i guess yeah <laughs> then okay. going to wipe and you have to wipe your older rom and not the internal storage or your like existing data and sd card just the stuff which I have wiped then go to install and you have to just install this Zen UI and you can see the zip is available in the description it's 1.8 uh, GB so guys take care of this like <laughs> take care like downloading and all you know it's 1.81 GB so almost 2 GB you require 
for downloading it and let it install I will just give you this uh, rebooting thing and like the boot animation and all so guys the ROM actually auto rebooted and this is the boot animation sorry for that like I actually turned on the auto reboot option and there is nothing else to be flashed so you can see this is the like boot animation only this is the boot animation and nothing else so guys that's it for the video for a Zen phone like Zen phone 5 port or the Zen UI port for a Redmi Note 5 Pro and if you want more videos on the Redmi Note 5 Pro and more updates on this you can just subscribe to this channel also if you have liked this video then please press the like button if not then the dislike button subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys in the next one with another redmi note 5 or various like other devices video bye bye i'll see you guys in the next one